Good day YouTube! This is a quick look at the differences between Linux Mint 19 and Linux Mint 19.1. So I've got them side by side here, so as you can see, the differences here. One is codenamed Tara, the other is Tessa there for instance. So starting off, uh, probably the main difference, or actually should I say the similarity between Linux Mint 19 and 19.1 is the base packages, which is actually all derived from Ubuntu 18.0. So not a fantastic great deal of a difference there in terms of everything the, from the back end. Having said that, from the front end, things are actually quite different. In fact, at a glance here, what you might see is the Cinnamon desktop interface on the right-hand side, which is the uh, the, the 4.0 Cinnamon, as opposed to the 3.8.x, whatever it may be. It's uh, it's quite newer, it's quite refined, it's obviously like the sidebar in Ubuntu, or the, the panel in uh, Windows 10, for instance, so it's gone for uh, what's the norm for these days, so the, the newer, the latest and greatest version in order to uh, dock applications and have many things running at once. So we've got a little number two here and we can select between what we want to do. So that's pretty much uh, one of the major differences is actually the front ends. Um, let's, if we were to uh, have a look at the things like wallpapers that a lot of uh, fans do love about Linux Mint, there is obviously a whole new range of uh, wallpapers for the codename Tessa Linux Mint 19.1, but probably something I won't obviously get into too much there. Uh, next up is some of the speed improvements and refinements. For instance, uh, they do say that Nemo, so the file manager here, Nemo is actually up to three times faster. Now, I don't know how do they get to that uh, metric in particular, but uh, you know, good for them, great if they think it's faster. If they think they've optimized it and they're saying they are, then who am I to argue with that one? Uh, let's see, there's uh, probably not a great deal of differences other than the obvious big ones there, but uh, there is an option to see the mainline kernels and their statuses these days, and what's available and what's superseded. So if I was to jump into the Update Manager's kernel area, we can see that I'm currently on this kernel here, and it is supported uh, until 2023. Fantastic, and the old ones here are superseded as well. And if we were, in fact, to go back to the uh, comparing the kernels here, let's go left and right. Uh, we will see that uh, for the most part they are actually running the same kernels so very similar to what I mentioned before they are both running off the same back-end distribution which is 18.04 Ubuntu so nothing too fancy of a difference there uh, so that's probably pretty much it it wouldn't be a video without me showing you the RAM differences here so at a glance mostly it's uh, pretty much a fresh uh, install for each of them not too much is loaded in we can actually already see that on the right hand side the Linux Mint 19.1. It's actually using, uh, interestingly, uh, quite a couple of hundred megs of, of RAM less, which is fantastic to see. Something about the optimization there. I may also say that uh, it's really good for uh, NVIDIA cards. They say that they've also updated or optimized the uh, the speed, the, the efficiency, all of that with any NVIDIA cards when it comes to the uh, Cinnamon desktop interface here as well. A bit snappier, that sort of thing. But at a glance, guys, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd show you that. Uh, I don't tend to get too much into the application side of things as uh, you can download and install pretty much what you want on either of the two, for instance, but um, or, or Linux distributions for that matter as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please uh, send a like, a subscribe, comment. Thanks for all of that. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Ciao.